what we want to say about our Lord and our love for Christ. So let me share with you our younger members this morning. I'll come down here. Uh, and those of you that are watching, as you know, we're doing it so that you are at home. You can watch, or if you're in here, you can stay where you are. One of these days, we'll get back to being together again, which I'm really looking forward to that, as you can imagine. But this morning, I want to talk about, now we all have choices, don't we? You have a choice, and you make choices every day. Think about the things you choose. What am I going to eat today? What am I going to wear? All these type of things. You have choices every day. But sometimes, is it not true? Sometimes we do not have a choice. Of where to go. We have to go somewhere specific and see someone specific. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you uh, wake up with a fever and okay, I got a fever and you take maybe something for it, but it doesn't get better. Fever stay, maybe gets even a little higher. You have to go see someone, don't you? You have to. There's nowhere else to go. You have to see someone very specific. Who is that person that you have to go see? Yeah, physician, a physician. you got to go to a physician. You have nowhere else to go because a physician is trained to find out what's going on with you and to prescribe for you the medicine that you need. Well, let's say that you have a cat or a dog, a kitty or a puppy who has a fever or is acting strange or is not feeling good, and you get worried about them, right? And so you have to take them to someone for help. Do you know who you take them to? The name of that person? There you go. Veterinarian, right? A vet. We have a wonderful vet here in our church. She uh, is just one of the, the best vets around. And she helps so many people. Because we, we love our animals, don't we? And we want to take care of them. And there, you have to go to the vet. The vet is trained to do that. So let's say that you're brushing your teeth and your tooth starts hurting, right? And, okay, my tooth's hurting. And then it gets worse, right? And it starts really hurting, and your jaw begins to ache. And you realize that there's only one place you can go to get help, right? I mean, you can't call the plumber. You can't go to your parents. Heaven knows you don't want to do that. You can't, you know, you can't do anything except go to, where are we going next? Oh, there he is, the dentist. The guy sticking his instruments in your mouth. That person. And we have dentists at our church, too. But you've got to go to a dentist. Not a doctor, but a dentist. And let me tell you, if you go to a doctor, you know what the doctor's going to say? You need to go to a dentist. And you can't go to a vet. That's not a good idea, either. You have to go. That's the only place you can go to that particular person. Now, I know a lot of you are doing school online. You're using the computer. But even using the computer, you still have to have to go to someone to learn the things you need to learn, right? And not just things that, say, your parents know, but the things you need to know to get to the next grade or to go further in your life. And who is that person that you see? A teacher. And our teachers are wonderful. We have a lot of teachers in this church. They're wonderful people. And let me tell you, it's really hard to be a teacher right now. So we pray for them, don't we? But what would we do without teachers? What would we do without them? We just wouldn't know, would we? So one more, and then we'll look at one more thing. One more, all right? Let's say that uh, you uh, have a candle, you light a candle in your room, or you have a fire in the fireplace or something like that. And suddenly, the flame gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and suddenly, the curtain catches on fire, or the spark comes out catches the carpet on fire. Now, what are you going to do? Well, are you going to run and try to find a way to put it out as the fire grows bigger and bigger? You might. But you've got to realize that you're going to have to go to someone very specifically. So who do you go to? Firefighters. And there are lots of people like that. They're the people who are trained. Who know? Who know what to do? And they're the only ones that know. They're the ones we have to go to. Now, a lot of people, years and years and years, for thousands of years, were trying to understand where they came from and trying to understand who made them and why we're here. That was the question. Why are we here? 
and so they created gods, right? And these gods were kind of created the way they thought they ought to be, right? Uh, these gods were kind of like, uh, they were kind of like us, and sometimes they were even worse than we are, right? And people were not, you know, they still asked the question, well, you know, this doesn't seem to really be what we're looking for. But the wonderful thing is that God came to us. In other words, to say, no, no, I am not like you. I want you to be like me. And that's why he said Jesus. And what is Jesus doing there? He's teaching. And that's what Jesus did. He taught us how we can be like God. Do you remember what he taught us? To forgive, to share, to love, to help, to serve, to live our lives every day for God. And the only place that we can go and get that is right there. Jesus, he's the one that showed us this. He is the one alone that we go to. So let's remember that. When we want to understand God, it is to Jesus that we go. That's why we believe in Christ as God's Messiah. We have nowhere else to go. Jesus is the one who taught us who God is and how we can be like God. Would you pray with me? And pray right after me. Lord Jesus... You taught us everything. Everything we need to know about love, about compassion, about giving. Thank you for showing us God. Help us to see God every day. Amen. Thank you. See you next week.